Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we'll set up database streaming from Postgres to Apache Kafka. In the previous session, we installed Apache Kafka, Debezium, and rest of the required components. In addition, we have configured the Postgres database for data streaming. If you haven't watched the previous video, then this is a good time to check it out. Rest of us, we can move on to setting up the data streaming. First of all, we need a table to stream data from since we plan to stream database changes. We have loaded the following table in the AdventureWorks database during our Python ETL session. If you need to load data or set up Postgres, then links to those videos are in the description below. From this database, we will use the fact internet sales table for data streaming. This table has the sales transaction. However, we have a slight problem. We have all the data loaded into this table. And if we want to simulate data streaming, for example, we receive a sales transaction every few seconds, and this transaction is streamed to Kafka topic. Plus, this is a pretty wide table, and we are only interested in handful of columns. Let's create a new table for data streaming. We keep the naming convention same and add a suffix underscore streaming to the table name. We only create the required columns in this table that we will use for data streaming. Let's execute the script to create this table. Now, if we refresh the table node, our newly created table shows up. We will read data from the fact internet sales table and insert it into the streaming table on a regular interval. This will give us a continuous data flow to work with. We will use the blank table as the source for the Kafka topic, and we will incrementally insert rows into this table. We can insert rows into this table manually, but that will be too much work. And to insert rows into this table one row at a time, I have put together a Python script, so we don't have to manually run insert statements. And the script will look similar if you have been following along the Python ETL series. We establish a connection to Postgres database using SQL Alchemy. Using this connection, we query the fact internet sales table and save the data into a data frame. Then we iterate over the data frame and insert one row at a time into the streaming table. When we run this script, this will incrementally insert records simulating an application that writes to a database. So this takes care of the database setup for data streaming. Next, we move on to the Kafka configuration. In the previous session, we have discussed that we can use Debezium to stream data from Postgres without additional code. All we have to do is to configure a connector. So open up your Docker desktop and uh, let's take a look at the Debezium container. Our Debezium API endpoint is localhost colon port 8083. We can use a number of tools to interact with an API, such as Postman, VS Code, and I'm sure there are many others. We will use VS Code. So open up your VS Code editor, and we need to install an extension here. So click on the extension tab. VS Code has whole heaps of extensions. You can explore them on your own time. The one we are interested in is called Thunder Client. Search for this extension and install it. Once installed, we will have a Thunder icon on the left-hand side. Let's click this extension to bring up the UI. In this UI, we can make various API calls such as get, post, and delete. We can paste in our Debezium URL, which in reality is Kafka Connect. We can make a get request and it gives back a response. This displays the Kafka version and the cluster ID. However, we are interested in the connectors on this API. So after the port, we type in the connectors. Now, if we make a GET request, it will display all the connectors we have in place. To configure a new connector, we'll make a POST request. So from the action dropdown on the left, we'll select the POST action. Let's click on the body tab and under body, we want to make sure our payload is of type JSON. 
Here, we can type in our Postgres connectors definition. I'll post a pre-written connector and we'll go over it. We start with the connector's name. Under configuration, we define a connector class and it is Debezium Postgres connector. This is followed by database details such as host and we are providing the IP of the host, port 5432, credentials, and the database name. Then we are using the logical replication stream mode called PG output. We covered this in the last session. Database server name is arbitrary and we can provide any name. This is followed by whether we want to stream schema level changes. For this connector, we set this to false. I'll show you an example of what the record looks like when we enable this setting. The transform is set to unwrap and the transform type is extract new record state. The original message has a complex structure and Debezium parses out the complex message and formats it in a simple flat structure. Our value and key converter is set to JSON. Next, we define the table we want to stream data from. And finally, we define a replication slot. Each connector needs to have a distinct replication slot. Otherwise, if we try to use an existing slot, then we may not see any data flowing to our Kafka topic. Before submitting this, let's bring up the Debezium container and look at the logs. This can save us hours of research and troubleshooting. Once we submit this request, Kafka Connect will try to create this connector. However, if there are any issues, they'll be logged and displayed here. So we'll get instant feedback whether our connector is created or not. If you receive an error, grab the error and do some research on what the error is and how to resolve it. This is a key to learning new technology. Okay, back in the API request, let's submit this and see what the status of this request is. If you get 201 status code, that means our connector is created. This status code indicates that the request has succeeded and a new resource has been created. We have a connector up and it is reading from our fact internet sales table. Let's go ahead and list the available topics in Kafka. We want to check if there's a related topic to our table. And if we do not see a new topic related to our table, then we will insert a record in the source table. So we have a change in the database and that change is pushed to Kafka. Kafka reads this change and creates the affiliated topic and saves the data for this topic. Okay, we can go ahead and relist the topics and we want to get the topic name for the internet sales table. Let's copy the topic name. And we have a Kafka consumer that subscribed to this topic. We have covered the consumer in the last session, so we won't go into the details here. We will add an additional parameter of group ID to the consumer. Group ID makes sure that we only read the message once. If our consumer stops and we rerun it, it won't read the same message again. It remembers the last message it read and carries on from that point. I'll go ahead and run this consumer. So now if you have any activity in this topic, the consumer will read it. This is the time to start our script that inserts data into the source table at a regular interval. I am going to go ahead and limit this to 50 rows for now and start this script. We are successfully inserting records into the source table. Let's move on to our consumer to see if we are receiving the database changes. We are successfully streaming the database changes to a Kafka topic and simultaneously our Python consumer is reading this stream from a Kafka topic. So we have successfully streamed data from Postgres to Kafka with Debezium. I think this is a good stopping point. In the next session, we will explore what we can do with this real-time data stream and down the road, we will build a stream processing application using PySpark. This is all for now. I hope you enjoyed the session. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.